On the second floor of a humble brick building in Brooklyn, New York, a small biotech company is working on a product that could revolutionize emergency medicine. It's called VetiGel, and it can stop traumatic bleeding almost instantly. We're definitely hoping that this can change the way that the world looks at wound care. Not only stopping bleeds, uh, but being able to treat burns. We could even apply this technology into the regeneration of organs one day. My name is Joe Langelina, and I'm the CEO here at Cenaris. The company started about four years ago uh, when I was a freshman at NYU. I had the idea, uh, which was to use a polymer to seal up a wound very quickly. In the beginning, I wasn't expecting that the polymer itself would be able to quickly stop bleeds. We realized that if we put it onto a wound, something really remarkable would happen, uh, which was that it would actually change shape, it would change color, uh, and it would interact with the tissue in, in a way that wasn't expected. This is a video Joe and his team shot early in the development process. That's actual blood being pumped through a piece of liver. VetiGel is applied, and the bleeding stops. That was the moment that showed that we were onto something much bigger uh, than, than we thought we were. VetiGel is so effective because it works in tandem with the body's natural healing processes in a way that hasn't been tried before. The gel is made up of plant-derived polymers. Uh, so what we do is we extract uh, pieces of the cell walls out of the plant, kind of like Lego blocks. Uh, and when applied to a wound, these Lego blocks will actually reassemble onto whatever you put them next to. So if you put it onto skin, it'll reassemble into the pattern of the skin. Uh, and with that, you can get a very fast and very durable clot formed. So this is a location in the lab where you're able to test the efficacy of what you are creating. Absolutely. The challenge now for the Sunaris team is to fine-tune VetiGel into a market-ready, FDA-approved product so it can actually start saving lives. At this station, they're measuring how quickly VetiGel clots blood. So we have whole blood on its own versus blood with our product. As you can see, we're already getting that natural spike. We've already clotted in a really short period of time. So what does this mean for its application in the real world? Let's say there was you know, a soldier who was shot on the battlefield. He has three minutes to live. He's bleeding out of his femoral artery. The next leading competitor can stop a bleed in, say, five to 10 minutes, but he's only got those three. You apply this in 15 seconds time, you can ensure that not only will the bleeding stop, but it'll remain stopped due to the high clot strength. VetiGel is about to make its real-world debut as a product for the veterinary market, and it will have to prove safe and effective for animals if it's ever going to be approved for human use. But Joe fully expects that his technology will eventually become ubiquitous in healthcare. Really, our goal is to get this in every ambulance, in every soldier's belt, and in every mom's purse. And really, the in every mom's purse means having a product that is easy enough to be used by just about anybody. The folks behind VetiGel know that they have a long road ahead of them. Any new medical breakthrough does. It's going to be a ton of time and a mountain of paperwork before what they're devising can be used on human beings. But should that time come, what we see here isn't just some esoteric tool that can be added to a surgeon's kit. This might just be the band-aid of the future.